Hey guys, so today I have a haul slash demo slash review. Uh, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. So um, I got a couple things at the drugstore that I actually am really like in love with. I've only used everything once and I think they're all really good products. So um, if you can get your hands on some of these things, I definitely would recommend it. Um, the first thing that I want to show you guys is this Maybelline Master Contour um, Face Contouring Kit. And it comes with a contour, a blush, and then a highlight. Um, I'll give you a closer look at that. The contour is sort of a reddish tone. And, oh, by the way, I got this in the medium to deep, and I don't ever wear anything that's really all that deep, so the color selection for this was just like a light to medium and then medium to deep, so I don't know, maybe they'll throw in a few other color choices because I just don't think that anyone that's too much darker um, would be able to use this, the contour that is. Um, even the blush might be a little bit too subdued for some deeper tones, but you never know. Um, but yeah, I thought this was perfect for me personally. Um, I did the contour, and it's what I'm wearing now too. With the contour palette, it comes with this little brush. It specifically tells you which way to use it. Um, when you're contouring, you're supposed to use the narrow side of the brush. And no, no. I mean, it's good for placement. Uh, maybe on the nose, but I would not recommend using this for your contouring on your cheeks. Definitely get yourself a good quality brush. I used the Real Techniques contour brush, which is pretty awesome. Um, I did apply it with this initially, and then I went ahead and went over with the Real Techniques contour brush, and that blended it right in, and it looks great. You guys, I don't know if you have seen enough of my videos, but you if you have, you know that I'm obsessed with the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, contour powder that I use, and I like, I've got like backups in the drawer, and so like it's nice that I was able to get this at the drugstore. I mean, this whole thing is kind of pricey. I think $12.99 is what I paid for at CVS. Um, so it's a little pricey for a drugstore product, but it has quite a bit of product. So I, I would say this is. This is, a, this is a good one. Yeah, do it. Do it. Definitely recommend it. Um, the, the color of the blush, by the way, it's very similar to um, NARS Orgasm. Um, it's definitely not as pigmented as, as Orgasm is, but it is a similar color. Um, so yeah. It said to use the flat, the flatter, wider part to apply the blush, and I tried, and it was literally would have been like, dot dot, 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 and then there's no blending that, like, it, 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 I don't know, there's just no blending it with that brush, so I just <laughs> went ahead and grabbed another brush, I was like, this is just not happening today, um, with this dinky <laughs> little brush that they gave me, but anyway, um, it's a Sedona Lay 602 brush, it is just, you know, like a ankle brush, ankled, like, blush brush, and I just and just blended it all together and that was it um for the highlight it says to use your fingers no ma'am i am not i tried i really did and i hate to be like that girl that's like doesn't want to use her fingers and i will use my fingers for certain things in makeup but not my highlighter it's just when you apply it it's like a dot you can visibly see because of the oils in your finger and so with something that with a product that's that light that's meant to highlight um, you don't want to add any extra oil this is my Sedona Lace FB01 brush and it's a fan brush and it's amazing and I don't know what I did in life before I had this guy mm, it even smells good Oh, it's because I just washed it. <laughs> Another item that I got was this Wet n Wild Illuminati. Ah, that's cute. It's called Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. 
instant flawless complexion it says highlights conceals and lifts dark areas I got this in the color happy medium I think that I saw three colors this was not the darkest this was obviously the medium um, I decided to not go with the darker color because um, when I do my under eye I like to use that as a highlight as well so I always want it to be just a little bit lighter than my skin tone and this works really well um, the consistency of it is really thin um, and so I thought that it would spread a lot better than it did and you'll see in the clip that I put here but I thought that it was going to spread a lot better and it really it didn't um, I had to use a quite a bit of product so I feel like even though I like the results of it it's not I don't know this is gonna run out really fast there's not a ton of product in here and I needed to use quite a bit to get under eyes um, and like highlight my forehead and um, my nose and stuff um, but I think it's a great product especially for someone brand new to highlighting and contouring this is a really good product um, definitely are gonna need another brush as you see, I went ahead and used a brush in the video. I used the Sedona Lace 224 brush to go ahead and blend that in. And then on top of that, I also had to use my um, my Beauty Blender, or not my Beauty Blender, my... Who makes this? Um, Real Techniques, my Real Techniques, I don't know what this is called, Beauty Sponge? Anyway, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I love it. Um, I went in with this and just kind of did what I normally do with a beauty wonder whenever I'm doing concealer, but I, you know, I wanted to give it a chance and see if I could just use a brush to give you guys a comparison so, so you guys will know um, what worked for me, what didn't. Um, I definitely probably won't be using a brush again in the future for my concealer when I'm using this one or any really because I don't really use brushes, but definitely, definitely get yourself a beauty blender or real techniques like dupe. These things are thebomb.com. I'm obsessed. Like they take your makeup to another level. That, that's the thing. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking about it, but yeah, get one. So I also got this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight. Um, kind of not. I mean, it's a good product, but it's not something that I necessarily need to add into my beauty routine. Um, I do have it on right now. I don't know that you can tell, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been super upset if I didn't have this. Okay, okay. So, uh, I just bought these not too long ago, but I've been waiting to film before I used them. Oh, I wish I had opened them a long time ago because these things are the bomb.com. CoverGirl, oh sugar, and I got it in Gumdrop and Caramel, and the Caramel is like a very nude, go like pretty much the same color as my lips. This isn't my lips, I'm wearing um, Fresh Brew from MAC on my lips, if you're wondering. Um, but my natural lip color, I have a lot of pigment to my lips. It's not very pink, it's kind of like a brownish, nudey, pink, I don't know. My lips are two different colors on the top and the bottom, but anyway. anyway. This caramel color is amazing. Like, does it for me personally, it doesn't look like I have anything on. It may give off a different color payoff for other people of different skin tones and different like lip colors because not everybody's lips are the same. Um, but yeah, caramel is awesome. And then there's this color, which it's just like, oh, it's, I love it and the texture is amazing it feels super luxurious you can see the taste of it and the smell of it are just absolutely delicious and i can't get enough let's see a couple more things um and then i'm all done this is the maybelline master fix spray it's a wear boosting setting spray it i don't need to do it now because you're going to see it in the clip but it's a pretty fine mist um I did buy it just because it was from the drugstore. It's less expensive. I personally wouldn't buy it again. It's a good product if you don't have the money to spend on something that's a little bit higher priced. Just a little bit higher priced. I am obsessed. Like, holy grail. Never going to change it up with my um, my Urban Decay Setting Spray by Scandinavia. And I also have used like the straight up Scandinavia one it versus just like versus, I guess I think it's just like a branding thing um Scandinavia makes Urban Decay setting spray but it's pretty much the exact same thing as far as I know um but yeah something about the way that the fine the super fineness of the mist just like lays on your face like with this I kind of could feel feel it on me I don't know it's not bad we'll see how my makeup um 
does throughout the day, that's really what's important. I'm just like all about being luxurious, but anyway. And finally, the last thing that I got is this Wet n Wild Brush Up Brush Cleansing Cloths. And these things are not necessary. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I will probably buy them because they say they're for your brush and it's not just a makeup rag or makeup wipe, but it's basically a makeup remover that you can wipe your brush on and keep them clean in between. Um, it says let them sit for two to three minutes, your brushes after you are done using them uh, or after done wiping them. It's tw 25 come in here, it's fast drying. It says easily dissolves and main removes oils and contaminants. I will say that I tried to take um, like my eyebrow concealer brush and clean it up on there and I mean there was not really much helping that brush because I use it all the time um, so probably not the best for like a, a heavy concealer um, but I mean it'll clean your brushes up but it's definitely not something that you should do to like keep them sanitary long term I believe that is it um, I am going to start rambling soon. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.